Hi, and welcome to another edition of the Sustainable Scoop. Joining me today is Julia Spain. He is a 26-year veteran of the Marines, so a local hero, mm -hmm. and he is planning to serve our community if elected to the 49th District mm -hmm. as a delegate. So welcome, Julius. Thank you very much for having me tonight. <sighs> Big thing running for office. It How's is. it going? <laughs> it's a marathon, not a sprint, I could say. <laughs> Uh, there's some challenges, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. Well, you know, um, to run for office uh, indicates that you've got some things that you think you could contribute to or do better mm -hmm. in. So what are some of your priority issues? Well, some of my priority issues as laid out in my platform, I really want to focus on some of the social issues that are plaguing our, uh, the 49th District. When you think about the 49th District and the makeup of the 49th, diversity and all those alike, I feel that we can do more. We need a leader who can be out front and represent the people that he or she serves. So my years of experience of being, traveling abroad, being active in the community, I have a passion and desire to serve the people and not just corporate interests or special interests or lobbyists down in Richmond. But I do want to answer uh, part of one of the questions just asked about what is it that I can do? What is it one of my major initiatives that? So education, social justice is really important to me. I think in the education system, we need to do more to address the underlying issues as it relates to mental health, the depression, anxiety, or our youth. They are the future. And as a legislator, I want to be a leader in that regard. Well, I, I think that's refreshing, especially because there's a lot of different views on how to solve big problems. And the Democratic Party in, in general is talking about a Green New Deal. How can you take the concept of that, depending on what it means to you, and bring some of that to the 49th District? Well, I'm glad to hear that uh, the Green New Deal is taking foot. There's a lot of energy and momentum behind that. I've signed on, taken the pledge for Green New Deal Virginia. I think that's where we're headed in the future as a commonwealth and really as a nation. There's still some issues, some things we need to work out as leaders and as uh, in the community to figure out exactly what that means. But if you're talking about jobs, environmental sustainability, climate change, we need to go in that direction. Well, I think some of the fundamental issues that you cite, um, transportation, right. education, social justice, all of those things, a lot of people mm -hmm. don't realize are part of the Green New Deal. And it is exactly right. what will bring this county together and this region together as we grow. The NAACP, which I'm currently the president of, even over the past year, what the NAACP National has done they went as far as most of our funding for the NAACP is going towards environmental justice programs and issues. So in anything, you know, one thing the Marine Corps, for example, taught me for 26 years is that you need to have steadfast leadership. You know, it's one thing to talk about issues and say we're going to do this or we're going to do that, but it also takes steadfast leadership and collaborations and compromise at times to get it, things across the finish line, to get a product for the people by the people, and I and I pledge that if I'm elected as a delegate in the 49th District, that will happen. So your intention is to get some things done. To get some things done, uh, you know, I take my job seriously. Uh, it, all jobs I've had in the, in the Marine Corps, uh, serving as a commissioner for Arlington County on the Civil Service Commission, I take those seriously because I know that I'm serving at the will and pleasure a lot of times for the people. So yes, I will be a strong advocate for issues like environmental justice, social justice, Green New Deal, green energy, alternative energy. That's what I'm about. Well, I think I think probably one of the things that I, I find most impressive is your discussion about the immigrant population and mm -hmm. how to manage some of the delicate issues right. that have to do with uh, equity right. um, without necessarily frightening people. I think we have a rich history mm -hmm. in Arlington, mm -hmm. um, in our African-American mm -hmm. community, and you've reached on both sides, but really into the community to tap some of that. Right, we have. So what you talked about as it relates to Arlington County and the community, having been here 10 years and worked extensively in communities like Nog, Arlington Mill, those traditionally uh, African-American um, neighborhoods, I will tell you, there's, a, there's more we can do, there's more that needs to be done, 
And uh, yes, yeah, so I've been working hard with NAACP and in the local community to make things happen. And I think that people really appreciate you going there and listening to the issues and trying to recognize that there are a lot of concerns with our growth. Alfonso Lopez is a three-time uh, mm -hmm. elected official. And, and so if you were elected, what are some of the goals that you would like to achieve mm -hmm. in your first term? Right. For, for well, the people you. who vote for thank you. Thank you for that question. So to the incumbent, Alfonso Lopez, who's been in office for three terms, I think he's done his due diligence to try and serve the people. What I pause and think about a lot is events that have transpired over the past couple of years as it relates to his character and his integrity and judgment. We all have our flaws in life. I'm also, just to let you know, that I'm for term limits at the local level, at the state level. And I think what we need to do is to bring in new, fresh ideas, new perspectives, new leadership from the ground up uh, to get involved in the political process. Well, it takes courage and conviction to run for office, and so I admire you for doing that. Um, how do people reach out to you, meet you in public, get to know your campaign, and perhaps even show some support? Well, people can reach me by, one, Google is everything, but J.D. Spain for delegate. Uh, I have a website up. I also have a Facebook account and a Twitter account. So I hope people will check out your website and learn Thank more you. about what you're doing. Thanks so much, Thank Joyce. you. Yeah, good luck to you. Thank you. And I want to thank all of you for watching this edition of The Sustainable Scoop. I'm Miriam Gennari. Back to the news desk.